out. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now a play fake, Brady. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing is Brady on third down. A pass underneath for Fournette. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 38. Fournette running out of the gun. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. To throw is Brady. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady being chased out left. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. He won't find a ton of space following the display of power as he's down just inside the 45. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. And Dominican Sue with a sack. We've seen that a ton since he entered the league in 2010. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. And that is incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter.
And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And they hit him as he throws as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And that will force a turnover on downs. Fournette, a first down carry. And he's got this down to the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Brady going to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. One of the best routes, one of the favorite routes of any play caller. He just ran that one. Nice little angle route. That's supposed to be a catch, and usually it is in running back drop. Yeah, I mean, he's a running back, but he's got hands. He should have caught it. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Fake the handoff. Now Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. They'll pass up a field goal attempt. It would have been a 45-yarder. Now they'll go for it on fourth. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. to be expected. This is nowhere near being good from that distance. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, partner, this is where I need the color commentator. I'm not sure what to say about that one. Yeah, you and me both, my man. Let's just let that one go and move on. Deal. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll swing this out to Fournette, and he'll be out of bounds. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in, and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the... And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The big back Leonard Fournette able to push his way in from a yard out. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. To throw again on second down, Mahomes dancing to his left. He finds McKinnon complete. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure. 
pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Oh, and this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Now the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman, 34 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. That throw by Brady incomplete. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Brady. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now the Bucks gonna use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Brady now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. This will be caught by Brown. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. He's going to go up top for the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. to throw, it's Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette, complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. The Bucks gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Brady, eluding the pressure right. Throw across his body and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. 20, 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown.